Hello everyone and welcome back. The end is near, October is coming. Thank you so much for being so loyal with my Jesus Year journey. And you may not know this, but I literally pray before I create my content and I pray before I record my videos. So I don't know who this is for, but here we go. Cause it's story time. <laughs> so this next Jesus miracle comes from Mark 8, 22 through 26 and it is Jesus healing the blind man. So Jesus and his crew are in Bethsaida and the people bring the blind man to Jesus and they're like begging him, Jesus, like you gotta heal him, just touch him, do something. So Jesus actually takes the blind man away from the crowd and outside of the village. And then Jesus spits on his hand and touches the blind man's eyes. And then he's like, yo, can you see? Old dude was like, no, people look like trees, but like, I don't know. So then Jesus touches his eyes again and then his sight is restored and now he can see. So I'm gonna be honest, if this was me and Jesus spit in his hands, I would have been freaking out inside. <laughs> like Jesus, what are you doing? I know your power. Like, why do you have to spit in your hands? Use your words. And then I just heard about you healing the paralyzed man. You just told him to get up and walk. And then those 10 guys, you told them to go show yourself. Like, why you gotta do all that? And then I feel like the first time it didn't work, like what what's going on? Then I realized, aha. <laughs> Aha, <laughs> where's the spoon? Taste the soup, taste the, aha. That is the lesson. Jesus will only go as far as your faith. He will not make you believe something. You just gonna miss out on your blessing. And that principle goes in life. Like you have to have faith. You have to have faith in yourself and whatever you want. You have to visualize it, you have to see it, you have to write it down, make it plain. Faith without works is dead. So you have to have faith in yourself. Definitely have faith in God. And then what you put your mind to, you'll prosper. Thank you for watching.